it's Xiao. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. My name is Xiao. I got engaged last winter and will be getting married next summer. For today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I made our DIY centerpiece for our head table. If you guys have missed my previous DIY um, centerpieces for our guest's table, I will make sure to link it down below. Please make sure to go check that out. But basically our centerpieces for our guests this is going to be this white box with some floral pieces on top but then for our head table i wanted something really big something with a lot of flowers a lot of greenery yeah i wanted to show you guys how i made our centerpiece so if you guys would like to see the process of how i did that definitely keep on watching and yeah let's just go ahead and get right into it all right so for the materials you'll need a pair of scissors cutting pliers and floral wire Last but not least, you'll need a bunch of greenery along with a bunch of flowers in different colors and preferably two different sizes. There's another bush of flowers that I use but it's not in this video. And then I picked up this bush of greenery that has seeds or buds. So these are the greenery that I'll be using. They are just these skinny, long, bright green greenery. And when picking greenery, you want to make sure that they look similar to the leaves on your floral bushes. And I picked up six of these, I think they're called picks from Michaels. So I did go ahead and open them up, without, but I'll show you guys that later. And then I picked up these peonies in three different shades, um, all from Michaels or Joann's. And then I wanted to add in a pop of white, so I picked up these white cabbage roses. And last but not least, this was really important to me. I picked up this bush of um, greenery that had little like seeds or buds in it. And I wanted to add a bunch of these kind of throughout the centerpiece just to make it look a little bit more natural. Alright, to start off with this DIY, you want to take your cutting pliers and cut all of the flowers from the stem, leaving about 4 to 6 inches so that you can connect them together with the floral wiring. Moving on to my greenery stems or picks, I'm going to take my scissor and take off this wrapping so I can separate and have the leaves individually. I initially didn't even think about this idea, but once I took it apart, it just made the process a lot easier than having this one big stick. Um, so this this is what they all look like. This was six stems. Um, so what I went ahead and did was I separated them into two equal piles. So we can do half on one side and then half on the other side just so they are the same volume on each side. Next we can start assembling. So I started off with one stem and then taking a second stem. I moved it about one to two inches right below that initial first stem. And then taking a floral uh, wire, I'm just going to connect those two together. And then once those are connected, you want to take the second stem, um, put it about the same, about one to two inches down, but on the other side. Again, connect that with the floral wire, and you just want to continue this with both of your batches. For more greenery, you can definitely use the leaves from your floral bushes as long as it kind of complements the greenery that you chose. So I'm just going to um, use my cutting pliers, cut off those leaves, and then cut off the extra stem. And we're going to just add these right on top of our greenery that we have already started to put together. So I just looked for any sparse areas and then just connected those two together again with the floral wiring. So this is what both of the sides should look like. They should look pretty identical, about the same length, about the same volume. And now we're going to connect those together. But as you can see, there are some empty spaces where they connect. So you want to go ahead and try to hide that. So what I did was I took two pieces of the leaves that were from the floral bushes. I connected them together using a wire just through the center. As you guys can see in the video, I just poked a hole with a needle and stuck the wire through that. And so I just overlapped them. So two leaves on each side. I just kind of used a wire just to wrap it together and then repeated the same thing to the other side to cover up that kind of bald area. I also saved some of the original greenery stem and I just kind of bent it at like a 90 degree and kind of stuck that onto the sides just so that they all kind of blended together. But the more greenery you can buy, the better. I just didn't want to use too much money on the greenery, even though it was really affordable already. So that's what I did and I think it looked really, really nice. 
Next up is my favorite part. We're just going to take our flower and just stick them in there. We're not going to secure them yet just because we want to make sure that the layout is nice. So I'm going to take the four biggest flowers and put those right in the center, kind of like a diamond shape. So we have the variety of the bright pink, the light pink, the peach, and then the white cabbage rose. And then next you want to take your flowers and kind of distribute them throughout the centerpiece. Since these peonies are pretty big, I'm not going to add too many of them. And then I did decide that, you know, we needed something smaller too just to balance it out. So I had these little tiny pink flowers already on hand. So I took a couple of them, added those kind of throughout the centerpiece again just to have a variety of different sizes. And then my favorite part was adding these seeded or these budded greenery. I just think it just really pulled everything together. So I'm just going to stick some of those kind of throughout the centerpiece again. Once you're happy with the arrangement, you just want to go ahead and secure the floral pieces to the greenery base using the floral wiring. And I went ahead and did this off camera, but it was really easy. And once you're done with that, you're done with your DIY centerpiece. Mm -hmm. 